a male was just attacked in his living room. Unknown suspect. Male is possibly deceased. One man is dead after an assault in East Toledo. Police found 57 year old Curtis Marshall unresponsive, beaten to death all around 11 o'clock last night. An autopsy shows he died from blunt head and neck trauma in Toledo police. They're now investigating this as a homicide. Silver Barker has been tracking this story for us. Silver, two suspects are in custody and one of them is a teen. That's right. 21 year old Ronnie Cannibal was arrested, including with a 15 year old. They were both arrested after the fatal beating of Marshall, a resident we spoke with and a neighbor as well we that we spoke with. She says that she is related to one of the attackers and says she witnessed parts of what happened last night. All right, and he was attacked in his living room. Do you know who attacked him? What? What do you mean he's dead? Oh my God. A call to Toledo police around 11 Tuesday night. Okay, ma'am, I've got help on the way to you guys. But it was too late. By the time police arrived, they found 57-year-old Curtis Marshall on the floor inside his residence, struggling after being brutally beaten. Police say he was taken to a nearby hospital and was pronounced dead. I just, uh, that's, that blew my mind. I just don't understand. A neighbor who called 911 says she knew Marshall. She says he had a wife and three kids. The three kids, that's father was attacked last night when they were all there, all of them, the wife, the three kids, all of them, he was attacked there. She told WTOL 11 she is a relative of one of the attackers and gave us her side of the story as to what happened that night. She says she received a call from her sister-in-law asking for help from her brother to go break up what she thought was just a fight needing to be broken up. She said he's bleeding, he's bleeding on his floor. I said, wait, what? What, what are you talking about? She said the boys attacked Curtis. He's bleeding on his own floor. And I screamed for my brother. I told him to go and check. And then he came back in. Literally, my brother was completely, my brother's a big Irishman, okay? He came back in completely panicked, completely white. He's dead. They killed him. He's dead. Now, she says she doesn't know what's next for this neighborhood after an incident like this. We got people moving out left and right. And now someone was murdered in their own home. Like, what does that say? In a statement sent to WTOL 11 from Toledo City Council person Teresa Gaddis, she says, quote, We recognize this is a tragic event, but the people of East Toledo are hardworking and resilient, and we support each other when something like this happens. My heart goes out to the family and friends of Mr. Marshall. End quote. Silver Barker, WTOL 11.